let me know if you relate to this. Wanting to play a video game all day, thinking about it all day, but when you finally sit down to play it, you don't have the fun you expected, you're more irritable than you expected, and you're not doing as well as you wanted. I mean, I've seen so many memes that say thinking about playing a certain game versus actually playing a certain game. And there's a difference there. Why is there such a dichotomy between wanting and doing? If you've been playing a video game or a franchise for a certain number of years, the novelty slowly fades. And to go further into that, we have to talk about what novelty is. To put it simply, novelty is the act of discovery. And when you're discovering a game and you're learning a game, whether it's the new Call of Duty or a shooter or franchise or a type of game you've never played before, there's novelty because you don't know what you're doing yet. You don't know what your potential is yet. I remember when I first played Battlefield 3, I was very, very bad at it. And it wasn't until my 10th, 20th match that I was able to flank some opponents and get like a nice 10 kill streak on them that I realized, oh, this is what I'm capable of in this game. And that's sort of that novelty meeting reality. You know, I'm not learning the game anymore. My training wheels are sort of coming off and there's some potential here that I can tap into. So when you go from new to not new anymore, the novelty fades essentially is what that means. You're not learning anymore. You know the maps, you know the modes, you know your favorite weapons, you know how enemies tend to play most of the time. I imagine for most of you, it's sort of hard for a 6v6 match of team deathmatch in Call of Duty to surprise you. So how do you get that surprise back? How do you switch from going through the motions and the game feeling like this habitual obligatory thing to something that's a little bit more active? Well, there's a reason people go for gold camo, Damascus, obsidian, dark mat, or whatever it might be. Because when the game says get mounted kills, when the game says get kills while crouching, when the game says aim for the head, when the game says get double kills, you start setting yourself up for those engagements. You start moving in ways that will allow you to complete the challenge. And that basically turns off your instincts. And instead of going off of instincts, you're actively correcting yourself at all times, like when you're learning a new game. This might lead you to lose gunfights and engagements because you're playing in a way that maybe isn't optimal, but it's moving that progress bar on the challenge faster if you succeed. So you crouch in areas you don't need to, you heavily pursue a second target when you need double kills, you mount when you shouldn't have, you go for the headshot when you should have just gone for the safe route, you know, the body shot, and that sort of ends up screwing you up and that can be very frustrating, at least it is for me. But I realized that it really did mean something to go for a challenge in Call of Duty when bored, going for gold camo when bored. I figured out why I like to do that when I'm bored is because it takes the repetitive, monotonous, habitual actions in Call of Duty and it kind of turns them off. And suddenly you're trying to adjust your engagements, you're trying to change the way you play and you're attempting to do certain things to your opponents. So think that way all the time. One of the camo challenges in Black Ops Cold War is to kill enemies that have been stunned by you. I think you can also tag them by your UAV or your field mic, but for the most part, it's just, you know, make sure that they're affected by your nonsense. Think that way. Think about where an enemy is going to be showing up and throw the flashbang or the concussion grenade accordingly. But I don't just mean throw the concussion where you assume an enemy is going to be based on player patterns. Really actively think, okay, when I see an enemy, I'm going to concussion them. They're going to attack the A flag and I'm going to defend it from this position. You're going to actively think those words in your head. If you want to reclaim that novelty, you want to become a better player, you want to feel like you're having a bit more fun, actively think of each engagement. Now, this doesn't mean you have to have an inner dialogue with yourself all the time, but let's say an enemy shows up on your screen. You round a corner and bam, there he is. Ask yourself, what is this guy going to do? Is this guy going to jump? Is this guy going to crouch? Is he going to prone? Is he going to hold still? One of my problems in Call of Duty over the years has been I start to shoot where I assume an enemy is about to go. It's a horrible habit. I shoot where I think they're going to move and I sort of get irritated when the enemy holds still or moves in a different way. I'm sort of thinking ahead of the engagement instead of being mentally present during the engagement. I cut myself a little bit of slack when I'm streaming because my attention sort of split between the stream and the game, you know, 80, 20, 70, 30. But I try to be present mentally in each gunfight. And when I am, I end up doing very well. Now, for me personally, let me know if you relate. If I start to overanalyze a match and I start to pay too much attention to every little thing and I don't let my instincts do anything, 
I think I end up playing a lot worse. There's a certain blend of, here's where I need to use my active brain. And I need to come up with a strategy right now. I need to remake my class. I need to move to a different part of the map. I need to flank this person. I need to switch my equipment, you know, just for this one engagement. Like when you're being spawn trapped, it's really easy to keep running into enemy fire. And sometimes that's all you can do to be fair. But if you can think, well, there's a height advantage I can get to and I, I they might not expect me there. If I can get there, that, that'll be good. Maybe I can use a smoke grenade. And this is something I'm trying to do in my gameplay. It's so hard to do because when you play Call of Duty for as long as I have, and you know, you hold this sort of above average performance for as long as I have, you get a little bit docile, you get a little complacent. And while I don't think I should have to change up my class for every single enemy team, for every single map, and I'm gonna keep some of my stubbornness and I'm going to play the way I want to play and I'm gonna to try to force my playstyle to work if that's the playstyle I want to have. You know, I'm not trying to become like Bruce Lee, I'm not trying to be like water, I, I'm really not trying to, but what I need to be able to do, what you need to be able to do, what we need to be able to do is look at our current situation, look at how we're playing, and say, this isn't working. I'm going to change now. You don't have to be constantly adapting. You shouldn't be constantly changing, but there should be a breaking point where you look and say, this isn't working. This is not a good strategy. I'm done with this strategy. We're doing a new one. So basically, that's the summary of this video. Be okay with ending the monotonous, habitual, instinctual behaviors and actively think. Get to the point where you're kind of mad that your strategy isn't working and begrudgingly, against your opponents, not yourself, begrudgingly change your playstyle. Say, this isn't working, I'm done. And be done with that playstyle and move on to a new one. This is why you're bored at Call of Duty. This is why you're bored with Call of Duty. You're going through the motions. You already know what to expect. So you're not actively planning out your next moves, planning out your plans of attack, planning out your flank routes. You're not actively doing it. You're moving through the map until an enemy is in front of you, and then you hope to God you can win the gunfight. But what if you weren't supposed to be moving? And what if you weren't supposed to be holding still? The only way to do that is to assess where you are, assess where your teammates are, and to plan it out actively in your mind. I think the best players are not just the players that occasionally snap into cracked god mode. They're the players that are actively thinking all the time, how can I cover the B flag? How can I do a cutoff here? How can I beat this quickscoper? They're actively thinking, adapting, changing, and they're not just going through the motions. And that's why when we're new to a game, it's so captivating because we're figuring out how to have our instincts, how to, how to be instinctual in the first place, and that's fun. But once you've already gotten them, it can be very easy to become content with mediocrity. And I think it's best to actively assume that you don't know what you're doing and that you could be doing something better. And here's something that I definitely won't live by because I'm too damn stubborn, but the scoreboard doesn't lie. And if you keep fucking up, the scoreboard will let you know that you keep fucking up. You can be a little stubborn, but don't be proud. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I did while recording it, so hopefully you did while watching it. And I will see you when I see you.